Anticipation for Borderlands 4 is like sky high at this point and Gearbox really needs to execute this properly if they really want a success. The Borderlands franchise has done really well over the years. Borderlands 1, Borderlands 2, pre-sequel and the Tales from the Borderlands all received great community feedback. And it's just unfortunate that recent entries in the franchise like Borderlands 3, Tiny Tina's Wonderland and New Tales from the Borderlands haven't been received as well. Now don't get me wrong, there was some redeeming qualities from the newer entries such as newer mobility, which is something that the series definitely needed. And along with new mobility, we had new weapons, new vehicles and new class systems that were all a great improvement from the first games. You see, my worry for Borderlands 4 is storytelling, much like the troubles that we had with Borderlands 3. And I don't really want to keep bringing this up because a lot of people do, this is like their main argument, but Handsome Jack was a fantastic protagonist, oh, antagonist, and I don't really want Jack to come back for this new entry, that is not what I'm saying. But Jack was so well written, he had a tragic backstory, he believed himself to be the hero in the story, and granted, we did get a good couple of games with him being the focal point of them, but he is the poster child for Borderlands. Apart from Claptrap, maybe. Whereas you get to Borderlands 3 and you have the Calypso twins, which were really shallow shallow antagonists. And they were primarily satirising influencer culture and trying to gain as many followers as they could and they didn't really have a meaningful motivation apart from getting like famous in the Borderlands world. And Gearbox really need to not use cultural trends or satire to push the entire narrative of Borderlands 4. It didn't work in 3 and I don't think it's going to work in 4. Earlier Borderlands games didn't need this cultural commentary to be funny and engaging and I just really hope that Borderlands 4 doesn't follow suit in that. Because at the end of the day, authentic character humour and narrative depth are the focal point of what made Borderlands, Borderlands. I kind of feel like recent Borderlands games have really suffered with humour and it feels like they're really trying too hard and lacking that kind of sharp wit that they once had. And the shift in writing and tone, I don't really know at what point this actually happened, but it's really not resonating with fans. Excitement still does loom for the Borderlands franchise. Everyone is still excited for Borderlands 4, even though the series has seen a couple of stumbles here and there, like with the later entries, as well as the movie, which got like a zero on Rotten Tomatoes, so that didn't do any good for the franchise. But here, Gearbox really has a chance to recapture that magic if they can do the course correction right. Now this might be a controversial opinion, but I think Borderlands 4 needs a darker tone. All of the other entries, yes, they've been light-hearted, fun, but after the recent stumbles, I really feel like they need this darker tone, which can then be elevated by humorous moments. Because it's all about striking that balance between humour and impactful moments, and I feel like it would make the jokes land a bit better. And if they could find that balance, I think that it would really be quite impactful for the series and create a richer, more immersive world. And the series really needs to preserve its heart when it comes to this next entry, and that heart was the key to the franchise's success in the first place. And I'm not saying that they have to now rely on cameos and bring back every single character that we've ever seen in the franchise. That just wouldn't work. It would be Cameo City. But those complex characters were part of the reason why many of us returned. But what I'm saying is that the characters that we did have back in the earlier entries had emotional depth to them. Yes, they made a fart joke here and there or made this joke or made that joke. And it's something that I feel like the later entries in the series have just lacked. Everyone is just, ha ha funny. And my concerns really kind of stem from Borderlands 3. I was really excited for Borderlands 3 when it came out, but unfortunately my fingers got burnt a little bit. Because although the gameplay was new, there was new movement and everything that I've gone over previously in this video, unfortunately the narrative just didn't live up to what we all expected it to be. And at the moment a lot of Borderlands fans are cautiously kind of optimistic. On Borderlands 4. They really do hope that it will be something that the classic games only dreamt of. And the only way I can really see that happening is if Gearbox listen to the community and perhaps go a bit more bare bones when it comes to what a Borderlands game is. And you know, really go back to the roots of the series, that's what I'm saying. And fans really want a game that not only feels faithful, but also feels fresh as well. We don't want to be retreading on old ground, but it's got to be that mix of balanced humour and not just ha ha funny all the time. Engaging characters and a narrative that really does have depth 
and isn't just there to, well, I would say, make us laugh, but it kind of didn't.